Hello everyone, Ian here from Able City in Burbank and today I am checking out the family of active fluid heads from Sackler. This is a uh, new generation of uh, fluid heads. These are the smaller, smaller profile fluid heads, but they pack a ton of technical innovation and most importantly, they maintain that tradition of reliability and the same type of operating experience that we have uh, had for decades now uh, with legendary Sackler fluid heads such as the Video 18, Video 20, 30, and so on. I want to get into real specifics at what make uh, these heads so unique. But at first, I just want to mention a couple of technical specifications. There are four different fluid heads in the active family. There's the 6, the 8, the 8T, and the 10. The 6, the 8, and the 8T are 75 millimeter and the uh, active 10 is 100 millimeter. In terms of their weight capacities, the uh, active 6 has a maximum weight capacity of 17 pounds and the 8, the 8T, and the 10 have a weight capacity of 26 and a half pounds. What's the difference between the 8 and the 8T? Well, the 8T, the T in that designation stands for touch and go. So it will have a touch and go plate uh, that you have experienced with other Sackler heads such as the Video 20s, 18s, uh, fluid heads of that nature where we have that traditional dovetail in and out uh, of the camera platform. Uh, this particular head that we're looking at today is the Active 8 and it is on a set of Flotec legs. And it is a traditional 75 millimeter mount, but that's kind of where everything uh, goes in a new direction. Now, traditionally, a 75 millimeter ball, we would have a tie down underneath, we would loosen it, we would level, tighten down, and then we would start uh, composing our shot. Now, that simple act of having to hold the camera and unlock the tie down and find that bubble level and tie down, coupled with the traditional legs that we've had in the past where you might have one or two sets of lockdown levers, it was the act of having to do those independent operations that added time to setups. Now what's happening, as all of us well know, is that as technology improves, as it gets better, the expectation levels of what we are asked to cover in one day as a camera crew just keep getting larger and larger. What is really compelling about this setup, and what I mean by that is the, uh, we are pairing the uh, legs with this new active head, is that we've come up with ways to work faster. We have the Flowtech system of lockdowns, which allow us at one point on the legs to unlock, adjust, and lock down again. And then directly behind them are the latches here that allow us to change the profile of the legs and that adapts to different uh, setup situations, but it also allows us different height uh, possibilities for the lens as well. So let's take a look at some of the innovations that have been incorporated into the active heads. Before I put the head on, I just wanted to show you this pin that is in place of our tie down or our traditional tie down, I might say. Uh, we still have a tie down on the other side, but how we secure it is actually related to how the head is leveled onto this pin. And I want to show you that. One adjustment you should be aware of, and this is something you should do when you set this up for the first time, is you want to take the lever that secures the leveling and you want to bring it up and notice there's that S and you want to bring it in with that indent lining up with that reference line there. With your other hand, reach underneath and you want to turn the tie down into the socket as tight as possible. Once you've snugged it up, it's now set. So when you now bring this lever down, you're going to be secure and you will not have to adjust it again. This is a 7.7 head, so it does have their traditional 7 tilt and 7 pan friction positions. But what's really unique on this head is the counterbalance. We're used to having a couple of settings, maybe a high and low range, which is great. But what really makes this unique is the fact that now we have 15 settings for counterbalance. I brought the lights down so that I can activate this. And you can see 
that with luminance I can see level up here and in the window down here. So if the camera is way up, I still have a window to see where my level is. Also notice that there's a little prism mechanism here and here allowing me to see my counterbalance positions. I think it's safe to say that with the abundance of different types of sliders out on the market that there's going to be an expectation of camera movement in your setups. That certainly adds to production value, but it can be problematic when you try to interface those sliders with your support equipment. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take advantage of the uh, active slider adapter. I have my slider here. I have camera plated into it. And now I'm going to use the same pin with the socket on the adapter to place my slider. And I'm gonna use this arm to swing out and then I'm going to level it up. And then on my slider, I have a 3816 right here and I'm gonna use this adapter. And that adapter is a 3816 female and it's gonna to go to the same pin that we have on the Flowtech legs. So now my active eight can be mounted and leveled and we're ready to shoot. So I wanted to see how fast I could do this in a real world situation. So I went outside and grabbed a couple of shots. That wraps up my look at the active family of fluid heads from Sackler. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.